I'm going to go over some of the important things about uh, putting in one of these small water softeners. This is made for a two-bedroom house, uh, one to two bath. A small house, not using a ton of water, so uh, the big unit's not really necessary. Um, so just locate your unit, figure out where you're going to tap into your uh, water coming in, if you got copper or uh, CPVC or PEX or whatever you got, so you can get a material list going and lengths and quantities and all that kind of stuff make sure you got power close by if not you have to run a new outlet like i did there put a new outlet in the ceiling and then uh locate where you're going to drain it because you got a couple drains coming off of this thing i'm just going to run it uh, alongside where the furnace drains uh, the old unit sat in that corner they're going to finish that side of the basement so uh, we're going to relocate it over by the hot water tank and uh, where this comes in uh this is the main and it'll go uh, straight uh, to the hot water tank we're gonna cut it before that but um, I noticed this one branches off when it comes in and goes over to the laundry room there's a wash tub I'm gonna have to uh, cut that off and uh, run a new pipe to the soft side of the softener uh, so there's uh, soft water going everywhere uh, pieces parts uh, supply lines I had to buy fittings I had to buy the bypass valve there that white thing that comes with it this black drain hose that comes with it uh, just miscellaneous fittings and whatnot uh, comes in there and there's a little tube of uh, looks like a cigarette butt but it's actually um, uh, some grease for these o-rings uh, you'll definitely need that so don't uh, accidentally throw it away uh, so then next after we do that we'll go ahead and, and get it ready for the uh, bypass valve on the back of the unit it pretty much just slides in there or snaps in there pretty much um, you can take this cover off and those clips are a little stiff so you might need a screwdriver or something but uh, pop that cover off <clears throat> excuse me so you can get in there uh, the electrical uh, plug is is stuffed down inside there you'll need to you know get that out of the way um, and then there's the uh, drain for the unit itself is in there right there that's the drain uh, for when it flushes so uh, this is just like a retaining thing uh, cap keep that thing clean get that out of there and then these retainer clips um, see they just snap in and out you'll need to get those out so you can put the bypass valve in and then you put the retaining rings back back in to hold the whole unit in place so after you get the uh, after you get those lubed up real good, uh, like I said, pop those rings off. It's a little hard to do one-handed, but I was kind of trying to show you. They they pretty much just snap out of there. I, I don't like the plastic, but uh, I guess they hold up okay. So when you get those out, just make sure you take that little tube of uh, grease and lube these things up really good. Uh, that's going to help it uh, slide on to the unit. And wipe it all around that ring uh, then I'll have it slide on without tearing up those o-rings and it'll keep them lubricated for quite some time so uh, give it a good push uh, take a little bit of force not a lot but uh, push that bypass valve in where it goes and then snap those uh, rings back on and that's gonna hold that whole unit in place uh, if your plumbing's coming up from the bottom you'll have to turn that thing around so the the inlets are facing down doesn't matter really which way that goes. Um, so next would be the supply lines. I get the hose. It's a one-inch fitting on a uh, female fitting on the one side and a three-quarter uh, shark bite on the other side. That'll just push onto my pipe. Uh, so yeah, you can uh, you know just kind of mock this stuff together and, and get it all put together uh, before you solder it if you want or do it all at once or in pieces. It doesn't really matter. I guess as long as it gets uh, put in. So. Uh, you can see here where I, I got this line cut off and rerun to the opposite side of the unit. And then this uh, drain has a little retainer clip on it too. You can just pop that out and uh, pull that fitting out. <clears throat> it's going to be easier to push your hose, your drain hose onto that. Uh, you can see it's got a little O-ring on there also. Uh, but it's easier to do that thing when it's off and get that hose and that clamp on there. And then you can feed it through, uh, put your 
uh, grease on there and stick it back in. Make sure those fittings are in all the way. Um, and then put the clip back in. That's pretty much it. Um, and then on the drain, the uh, brine tank, this is actually an overflow. I guess in case it gets too full, um, there's a little rubber stopper that goes in there. And then that just lube that up with grease to push that in there. Uh, once you get your hose on your drain line on there. So you basically have two little drains uh, coming off of that thing. This is kind of a temporarily permanent uh, drain situation. Um, this will work, uh, but eventually there's going to be some more plumbing work done down here. So uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you got one of these little tanks, you know, don't be scared and, um, you know, have at it. Hope that helps.